What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Block Quest. We're here on episode eight. Once again, back with Fish for another jolly good adventure. I did a little bit of dicky digging after the last episode. So, okay, well, I guess first things first. I bred my horse with my donkey, and this is Mulius. Considering you've yet to name Donkus, I don't believe you. <laughs> I need a name tag for that. And away we go. I have no idea where we're going. We're going to the forward operating base. Again? Yes. Except I made it real easy to get there. And by real easy to get there, you mean you just made a line of torches, didn't you? Yes. He's still chilling in the corner. He um he's currently trading a fire coral block in blue ice. Uh you mean this one? Wait, there's two. And this one is trading a fire coral block in blue ice. Then who is this guy? I don't know, but we cannot afford either of those two options right now cuz he, he's trading red sand for one emerald. I don't have any emeralds. I think I have one. So do you have an emerald on you or is it back at the back at the village? I think it's in the forward operating base. I know you're saying forward, but you're saying it so quickly that I keep hearing Ford. Like the car company. The forward operating base. Yes. So take a look. Yeah. Rails. These, these are all of the resources I have collected thus far. That's decent. We gotta bring them all back. Okay. I like how you left the rails for me. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the entrance to the cave. Nice and safe from uh, skeletons. You won't find resources for a while. Probably true. You lied to yeah, me. Yeah, there, there's a... what? Oh, hey, cool. <laughs> <laughs> so how long did you... How long did you play yesterday to, to do all of that? Oh, this wasn't yesterday. This was immediately after episode 7 ended. So how long did you do that? Uh, I think it was from 9 o'clock to about 2.30. Jeez. Horse. Come on, horse. Get out of the lake, horse. Alright, we're doing this now, huh? Would you like to create your diamond pick, sir? Yes. And I've also made one. Ba -na -na -na. And now that I have it, I'm going to go and put it in my chest. Because at the moment, I'm dying too frequently to want to walk around with a diamond, uh, diamond equipment. Fair enough. I'm going to get that red sand real quick. Okay. Do you want to grab the gold block? Sure. And I'll meet you at the cathedral? Sure. I'm going to take some time and see if I can find the gold block, because I know the red sand is on the first floor, but uh, gold block I think is either on second or third. Uh, I think it was on the fourth or seventh. See, and this is why I'm going to go and check. Or eighth. Stop it. And this is the part where we find out we already placed it. It's very possible. I love being able to navigate my torches without even thinking. Uh, it's on the third floor. Ah. And we already placed so it. it. lower. Uh, of course we did. Oh, he gives you four red sand. Wait, he's giving you four red sand for one emerald? Yes. We can make sandstone. I'm just saying, if we can get our hands on more emeralds, we could... We could finish all of the red sandstone. I think we'd have to do another raid to do that. <laughs> Not at all. Or find an extreme hills. Not at all. Cause guess... trade with our farmer. There you go. Now I have Creeper, a th you say. thought. Um, I've also been collecting eggs over time for the other side of the chicken cooker. Do we have any flint? <gasps> a fletching table. Because guess what our other villager is right now? Is he a fletcher? He is a nothing. He's a nothing? He's a nothing. Which means we can turn him into a fletcher... And trade feathers. And just like that, you're a Fletcher. Who skeleton wants... Skeleton spawner without the skeleton spawner. Who wants sticks. 
At least I hope. I've decided that the menu is stupid. The one that, like, helps you organize your... Oh, you can make this. You know? Why is that? Because I just went through the tools to find an axe, and then I saw stone axe, and then I saw other things, and then I saw uh, gold axe, and then I saw other things. And it's just like... and But the thing is, is the other things that were surrounding it were, like, an iron pick and things like... It's like... It was the weirdest organization. Hit the showing craftable button. There's a button like that? Yes. Hey there, big guy. How you doing? I hear you uh, want sticks. I got one emerald. I heard you like a sticks. I'm just happy I'm able to say the word horse properly again. House. Did you, did you see what I meant when I said that, though? Because you were like, I don't believe you. I don't think I said that. And I was like, no, you... You definitely did. Yeah, I, de I definitely said that. Fourth pathway. I managed the S at the end still, though. Yeah, that's the thing that threw me off. It's like, I would have I would have definitely messed up all three of them. If I messed up any, I would have messed up all three. I don't think there really is a middle ground for me. It's either all or nothing. Aha, I can trade horseback. I like that. Can I trade horseback? I can trade horseback, and I just hear him go, "Ha!" <laughs> Where'd he go? Did he just despawn? Fish. I swear I didn't do anything. Fish. I swear I didn't do anything. I, assuming that wandering tradesmen probably have a limited number of times that they'll trade. If that's the case, because that was just a little too spontaneous. Horse. Hmm. Horse, don't do this to me, horse. We're doing this again, huh? No, I... No, I'm leaving you here. I'm leaving the pen. Thank you. Alright, Can you so... believe this guy? He just abandons his... Abandons his horse like this. Just leaves him behind. Now, you stay here. That guy over here just hating onto his animals like that. And there are some so, people. So, now we have red sandstone, chiseled red sandstone, and red sand to place. Yes. You know, it's something we really could do for our benefit. Not, like, not today, but something that might be worth doing in the near future. Mm -hmm. A raid farm. A raid farm? A raid farm is basically going and making a farm out of a stronghold, or a outpost. And what it does is it basically just rains pillagers into a kill chamber you can turn it into an XP grinder so you can get experience points from it and um, it will then also give us all of their drops so things like emeralds things like crossbows arrows enchanted axes enchanted books Ooh. totems of undying Just... oh we can get pumpkin now too from the farmer oh hey a creeper I see that. I don't have any arrows. I do. I just can't see him anymore because he's admiring our statue. Wasn't that nice? Where are you? He's, uh... He's directly beneath you! Oh, oh that was close. And back to our regular scheduled program. I'm still, I'm still trying to re regain my breath on that one. Like, <laughs> you know, when you freak out about something and you just stop breathing. Yeah. I did that. So we've got three gunpowder now. That's nice. That is nice. All right. So, I think now is a good time to review the plan for today. Uh, we are back on uh, a, the adventure grind, and we are going to go and. See if we can find a nether fortress, because we need a lot from it. Yay! And I'm going to grab stone brick, because I guarantee we're going to lose our way, because compasses don't work in the nether. Why stone brick? Why not just cobble? Because I have an excess of stone brick. We also have an excess of cobble. I don't have an excess of cobble. Oh, you really don't? 
That surprises me. I am prepared. How prepared of you? To the nether? I'm gonna grow potatoes real quick. Why? I will say, smoke is pretty dang useful for food. What if I made a super smoker? And a super smelter? Ooh. Alright, you ready? I am. I have zero arrows. I have three. So, priority is gonna be nether wart. And soul sand. Really? You know what else would have been a smart move? What? Taking the coordinates of our portal. I mean, we still can. We can. Got it. I did something smart today. Hooray! That doesn't happen often. <laughs> <laughs> I dug through here a little bit, and there actually is an opening. Very treacherous opening. All right, that's that's one option. I want to show you. I want to show you an alternative. Oh, what do you know? I think that zombie pig child was trying to get me killed for fun. Well, he is a zombie pig child. You. Fine, look away. You. Which way to a stronghold? Kindly gesture in that direction for me. Don't just look at me. I need your help. He just walked away. <laughs> Some of these guys are really rude. They are. It's like they've never seen a guy who's not a pig man before doing this it without falling. This is the episode falling. where I die. That's the game plan. I mean, no, no, not at all. I would hope not. I had 39 levels. Well, you gotta get rid of them sooner or later. Worldly attachments aren't good. I almost fell in the lava. <laughs> Alright, I brought a stone pick specifically for clearing out netherrack. You're a worldly attachment. I am. And look how good that's going for you. Alright. You do not see me. Stop acting like you do. I hear explosions. Yeah. Because the baby's like, just kidding, I can see you behind that wall. I like quarter cover. I was decent. Okay, now where did you go? I turned a corner. Like a singular, so you turned a, a, you singular, turned a singular corner. corner. You turned a singular corner, and I went up a damn hill. Yeah, look down. Oh. <laughs> How many pickaxes do you have on you? Two, but one of them's iron, and I want to save the iron. Good news is, is that I planned for this. Okay, well, I have one, two, three more stone ones. You have three more stone ones? Yeah. All right, I just made ten more. Perfect. Something about digging in the nether just always makes me unhappy. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa? I have no idea where Major you are. Major lag, are. and then you turn into a slow motion robot. Oh, well. And, uh, apparently my... Everything... What an episode for the server to, to decide <laughs> it doesn't want to work. Alright, so I have 17 soul sand. I have 10. Nice. Between the two of us, that's more than two. I'll be honest, I hate to say it, we might need to divide and conquer a little bit. So let's see here. You, Pigman! Which way do I go? No, I came from that way. Okay, Ooh. thank you. Well, this is more or less you'd have to have a lava boat. I wish those existed. This I is, well, I uh, I want I want netherite. Close. I want netherite to. I know it exists. I know netherite's a thing, but did they actually say we're gonna make a boat for lava? I will not say it is a boat, but there is something. There's a means of transporting yourself across lava without like like an actual like ride though right yeah yes solid five minutes later ow I hear lava ah stop being on fire if you wouldn't mind thank you i definitely hear lava there's two of them on me now i think it's time to go one hour later salvation Woo! ow 346 minutes later. I 
I'm still walking across land and parkouring, and it's... I'm really just making all the wrong decisions as far as the nether is concerned. I am going to say one thing just for the sake of having the knowledge. Our oh, there's an op. Uh, if you need to find your way back to our nether portal, it's actually shockingly close to zero, zero. I think the, oh. I think the coordinates I took down were like 30 and negative 8 or something like that. I'm getting so tired of being consistently greeted by more like lakes of lava. I keep being greeted by the exact same lake of lava. See, at least you two get to know each other. I'm, <laughs> I'm out here just seeing the family. I'm just all over the place. I'm so high up in the air. Oh. Oh. I, s I found one. Coordinates. 366, 44, negative 21. Yeah. All right. I am at 742, 89, and negative 1,040. <laughs> Honestly, I'm fine with getting to you. We're not inherently that far apart about a thousand five hundred at most a few inches later can make this more structurally sound hey yeah so this is what i built <sighs> that was terrible that trip was awful i bet it was this is nice i like this and you can shoot gas through the holes I see how we can get there. It's going to be terrible, but I see how we can do it. If we can get up to the thing above us, we can just go from over there. Hmm. So, in other words, make a noob tower. It's a little patchy, but we can fill that in a little bit. Oh, okay, we're gonna fill that in a lot of it. How do you like the sound of a one-wide diagonal bridge over lava? Because that's what the oh. nether just gave us. Jeez. Now here's the real question. How long have we been recording? Uh, an hour and 33 minutes. I'll be honest, I'm kind of content with the idea of, uh... To be t continuing. <laughs> What are your thoughts? All right, everybody. Well, with that, I think we are going to call it an episode. We have managed to find ourselves at a nether fortress, which was the entire point of the episode. And we are now going to bring this up to next episode, so that way we have time to actually explore it and time to make the most out of it without feeling rushed and being able to actually give you guys the content that you guys were waiting for for this episode. So, to be continued, everyone, and we look forward to seeing you in the next episode. See ya! See <laughs> ya!